Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Massey Art Studios. I'm Jeremy. I'm Lee. And welcome, everyone. Uh, I think it's absolutely amazing that we have episode 47 right now. Three away from the big 5 -0. Three away from the big 5 -0. Almost the same as your age. Hey, no, that would be back in like number 30. Whatever. Episode 30. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Although you don't look a day over 22. Um, if this is your first time seeing us, it's so exciting. Thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And where have you been? <laughs> where have you been? Um, in today's episode, moving into that, mm -hmm. um, uh, we are using some leftover paint today on a 12 by 12 canvas. And Why are we using uh, leftover paints? Because we just had so much paint left over from the last episode. <laughs> and we really love the colors. And, oh, the colors are brilliant. Yeah, I mean, as, as we were pouring, Jerry was like, I really want to do a split cup with these colors. Yeah. And so we were like, well, hang on a minute. We make the rules. Right. Let's just use the same colors and do a split cup. I know. Yeah, because I really, really enjoyed these colors too. Yeah, I did too. So I can't wait to see what's going to happen with this. Um, why don't we go ahead and get started? I'm excited. I want to get. The, I want to jump right in. You are excited. Um, yeah. Can I just tell everyone to like and subscribe if they haven't already? I did that already. Thank you so much. Please don't <laughs> forget, just in case. And let me tell everyone that I'm going to do flip cup or two. Um, oh, that's right. Yeah, because I I haven't done a flip cup for the longest time. I don't always love the compositions with flip cups, so I'm gonna instead of doing a dirty layer, I'm going to do a straight layer instead, and see what kind of result we get. That's amazing. Yeah, it is amazing. Amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. Thank you. You're amazing. <laughs> Everyone out there is amazing. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes. Let's get pouring. Let's get, let's get doing. Let's, let's get, get doing. Let's get to it. Okay, guys. Here we go. We're doing a gallery wrap canvas, a 12 by 12. Yep. Um, I got my pins in securely this time. And um, we have all these colors. This is a phalo blue. Um, by Amsterdam. Amsterdam. We have a light blue by Amsterdam. Amsterdam. We have the 24 karat gold by Deco Arts uh, Americana. We have a folk art uh, charcoal black uh, metallic. We have this beautiful pearl uh, pistachio by Arteza and a folk art emerald is it folk art? Emerald green? Uh, deco art. Oh, it's a deco art metallics emerald green, um, which I am in love with. And uh, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm doing a split cup today, um, just a two, um, two split cup. And um, thank you, Marcy, for those. Um, I'm going to start out with, I think, the pistachio. Remembering whatever you put in the bottom is what you'll see in the center of your in the ring. Center, yeah. yeah. You've done a split cup on camera before. Um, I don't know if I have enough. I don't think you have. I don't think I have either. I'm gonna do a little bit of emerald green. And I'm going to go to the other side. Actually, I think I'm going to do a little bit of the charcoal, not this charcoal black next. Just a tad of that. I'm going to do the gold on top of that. I'm trying to restrain myself with the gold. Impossible. I know. And then I'm gonna go back to the emerald green. And then the pistachio. I think that's all the paint that I'm gonna need. Um, on the other side, I'm going to start with, actually, I'm going to start with a little bit of the gold. I'm going to get crazy. Okay. 
I'm getting, I'm getting absolutely crazy with it here. Next, I'm gonna do this gorgeous phalo blue. And then I'm gonna go with the light blue. Then I'm going to do the charcoal black. I wonder how this is going to turn out. And go back with the light blue. And then I think I'm going to do a touch of gold. Literally a touch of gold. Touch of the blue. And I'm gonna go back over here. And I don't know. I think I need to put something else on this side over here. A little bit of the gold. And then I'm gonna end it with the emerald green. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. All right. So, I got my cup layered here. It's gonna be very interesting, I think. Um, I am going to flood my canvas, so let's. And there you have it, guys. Flooded canvas. <laughs> All right, so I got my trusty cup here. I am going to be doing a split cup, and Lee said I should do a ring pour. No, it's up to you. Whatever you want to do. I didn't know if you were going to do a ring or if you were going to do a straight cup. A straight pour. I was just going to do a straight pour. Then do a straight pour. I can do a straight pour slash ring pour. You can. You can totally mix it up. So, let's start out with... Because my rings are never like... Okay, that's a very interesting ring slash straight straight pour. So I'm gonna go ahead and start tilting. <laughs> last time, I, last time I tilted, I got a bit aggressive with my tilting. It was like whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. so. This time, I'm going to just lightly tilt. The paint is a little thicker this time than it was last time as well, so it shouldn't slide quite so much. Yeah.
Okay, you know what? I'm gonna stop fussing with it, is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stop fussing with it, and I'm gonna leave it alone and see what happens when it dries. And I'm gonna get the, my corners and my edges, I'm gonna clean all this up, and I'm gonna come in for a close-up for you guys. Welcome back, ladies and gents. Thank you so much. This is Lee. I'm going to do something I haven't done for a while, and that's going to be two little flip cups on this 12 by 12 canvas. So um, I'm not going to flood my canvas first because I don't generally do that when I flip my cups. Flip cup being where we either layer or do a dirty uh, style pour in the cup, put it onto the canvas, and then drag it back. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, let me think, am I gonna do it layered or am I gonna do it dirty? Um, I think I'm gonna layer this cup. I'm okay. gonna do it as a layered cup, flip cup for a change. Perfect. Um, so let's get to layering. I am gonna layer them though, however, both the same. So I'm going to layer these cups identically. Now, in the last couple of pours that you've seen Jerry, me and I do when we've been using these colors, we've both gone light green, dark green, light blue, dark blue. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit and I'm gonna see what happens if I mix the blues and the greens together. So that is what I am intending to do. So first off with the lovely emerald green, next in with the phalo blue. Then I'm going to put some of the pistachio next to the phalo. Then I'm going to put a little layer of gold, the tiniest layer. Now let's go in with the light blue. A little bit of the charcoal. Okay. Now in with the emerald. Back to the phalo. This time to the gold. I don't mean to tell you how you're painting, but remember you're just on a 12 by 12. I know, I know. You know I get greedy with these colors. Well, thank you for reminding me. I definitely don't need quite as much colour as I've got in here, but you know what? I'm going to put it in and I'm going to tilt it off. <laughs> so that's my plan. And then finally with the phalo. That is my layered cup. Ladles and jelly spoons. Now let's get to flipping with my layered cup. First things first, I'm going to plunk it onto the canvas and on this side. All right, now I'm going to leave those to sit for just one moment. And the reason why I'm doing that is I'm going to let all the colors that were at the bottom of the cup come all the way down to the top of the cup. And I'm just to make sure that I get maximum paintage coming out of these little tiny little cups. These cups, by the way, are nine ounces. So altogether, I've got 18 ounces of paint on a 12 ounce canvas, <laughs> which is probably three times the amount that I actually need. However, as you just heard me say to Jeremy, I'm greedy when it comes to paint, and I'd rather tilt off the composition rather than struggle with a little bit of paint. But, um, okay, so here we go. Let's do this one first. This one first. Either or. Okay, I'm gonna go for this one first. And we're gonna flip and drag. Just like that. And same again. 
Let me just get my edges. You'll notice I didn't put a, a flow extender down on this one because you really won't need to with the amount of paint that I've got. But I'm gonna maximize everything out my cup just to make sure I got my edges covered. Now I do have a little bit of white which I'm gonna just layer onto the canvas where the, the canvas is bare. But it really is just the smallest amount. It's just to help these colors flow. And they will flow. Because I have a lot of coat paint. Okay, first I'm going to torch. And I'm confident that I will torch this again as I start to tilt. But I love how the gold is coming up underneath the colors here. Okay, we're not gonna stretch this one out too much if I can help it, but let's see what happens. It is tilting time. I like this. Mm -hmm. I like this a lot. I think I've gotten rid of most of the paint on here. I don't think that I have to worry about there being too much paint on the canvas. So I think that I've got just the right amount of paint that I need for this now. I have a feeling that what is going to happen is that it will sell up more as it sits because I can already see some of the gold cells peeping through from the green. Um, but I'm going to keep it exactly the way it is. Um, I do love that line that I got down the middle, which is really awesome. Um, there's a lot of pistachio on this side, which I think is going to start selling. A lot of emerald on this side. Yeah, I love it. I'm going to get my edges and then we'll take you in for a close up. But I think that was a very successful flip cup. Absolutely. Thank you, Jeremy. Okay, guys, there you have it. Don't resist. Let's...
I'm going to wear this next time He's we do. He's being such a fool. Today. Next time we do, who did it better? I'm going to be like, resist the vote for Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> vote for me instead. <laughs> this should be a bloopers reel because no, everything I'm that's been this going one on in. with this one. I'm putting this one in. <laughs> so, um, I hope you like the paintings that we just did. Uh, I thought they were amazing. The uh, whole composition of my like ring pour slash you know straight pour like I thought it came out really really well. I loved it. Um, I would, and I, I keep saying this. I would not have used so much gold. And <laughs> we need to, we need, like, I feel like that's an echo in here. We need to put that on a t shirt. I know. Don't use too much gold. I know. No. So, um, so yeah, but I loved Lee's. Uh, I thought, but Lee's let me just go just back beautiful. to yours. Yes. I, you've not used the split cup half as many times as I have. This is probably <laughs> only the first or second time if, if it's yeah. not the first. Yeah. And it's, you just always got to remember that the color that you put into the split cup at the very beginning is going to be the color that comes out in the middle of your composition. And you said it to yourself as you started I pouring i kept thinking though about the i was thinking only on one side i wasn't thinking right. on the other I get side it. it's hard but this is why we love this journey so much because yes. we see these things and then we're like light bulb goes off and then we want to come back and do it all over again yes yes so now i really love it yes did you like my flip cups I love, love, love your flip cups. I told the off camera, I said, I think I want that one to hang in the house because I've been so in love with it. We'll that, like lovely. resin, it's going to be beautiful. Thank you for that. I think it's still going to keep selling yeah. as it's right now drying. Um, and it was, I think it was my most successful flip cup. I really loved how it came out too. Me too. Um, but why don't we take them and see the dried results now? Absolutely. Let's go and have a look and see how they turned out. Jeremy. The second time you've used the split cup, I believe, on camera. Mm -hmm. And it was a veritable success. Tell me about it. Um, it's so interesting how this came out. Uh, I'm loving the green and that uh, pistachio, how it moves into the gold like that. And I love that deep blue that goes around the edge right there. Right. Um, I just think it looks very, like, cosmic, actually. It's like... The forming of a planet. Ooh. Yeah, I'm, I, I really think this was a big success. I love um, it. These colors are incredible. We have to use these colors again. <laughs> right. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, I just hope everybody loves it. I love it. I think it's really pretty. Thank well you. done. That was a success. So, Lee, tell us about this incredible painting that you did. Oh, thank you. So these were the 12 by 12s, which mm. is a heck of a lot smaller than what we normally do, but I really enjoyed it. And um, this is one you've just seen me do where I use two flip cups. Probably my most successful clip flip cup that I've ever done because I still really like seeing all the different colors on this one. And sometimes I feel like my flip cups can get a little muddy, but no, I love it. It, it looks like yucca plant to me. It's like the inside mm. of a yucca leaf. Um, but I, I really enjoy this. I love seeing the gold and the blues and the greens and we reuse the same colors from our previous episode, which mm -hmm. we really, which we really enjoyed. Um, so yeah, no, I really loved it. It was really cool. It's a beautiful piece. Thank you. There you have it, the dry Ooh. results. Exciting. Yes. So nice. And it's so nice to do the little 12 by 12s. Yes. Um, because they're just, they're really easy little pores. So easy. And they, so they easy. keep the composition really well. Yeah. We don't I, do I small like canvases very often, but I really I know, I liked them. I know, I really liked it too. Me too. Um, yeah, they're really cute, like fun yeah. paintings to, to have. Quick and dirty. Yeah. So, uh, Next episode, 48, we'll have to see what's going to happen with that episode. What is going to happen? I don't know. Me neither. I know. We have no idea. <laughs> we'll get to that one shortly. <laughs> so, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It means the world to us. It keeps us going. It keeps us hyped up. Um, As if we need much more hyping. I know, right? Uh, thank you to all the Patreons. Thank you, guys. Yes, absolutely. Um, they get exclusive content that nobody else gets to see. They do. Which is amazing. Yeah, we love these guys. Yeah. And... Uh, I think that's it for me. I think so too. Yeah, let's, I think I'm done. Let's let these people get on with Absolutely. their days or their evenings. As yes. It's now five o'clock. Thank you for joining us on the premieres. Yes. And we'll get our ourselves home ready for another episode. Right. We have to think about what the next episode is. Let's do be. that. All right. <laughs> Oh Bye. Have a great day. <laughs> so everyone, we wanted to take a second to mention some very special people and that's yep. our Patreons. So at the gold level, we have Jane Klein, we have Janice Pittman, we have Janice Swansea, 
and we have Leslie Bever, and our Platinum MP, the Massey Pussy, is Sparkle. And to everyone else down below, thank you so much for wanting to take an extra special interest in yeah. the Massey Art Studio. We appreciate your patronage. Thank you so much.